In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine brushes to get some really cool effects right here inside Procreate. What is up, everybody? Visual to me here. And I don't know if you knew this, but you can actually combine two brushes inside Procreate to make one new combined brush. So I'm going to show you how to do that really fast. So let's say you have two brushes that you like. One that's a very like misty, um, soft brush and one that's got this rough texture. And for some reason, you want to combine these two. It's very easy. All you need to do is select both brushes by swiping to the right and press Combine. Now you have a new combined brush that has both properties of both brushes in one. Now you might be asking, why would you want to do that? If they're such different brushes, why would you want to combine them? Well, the answer is to get some pretty cool effects. So if we take this soft brush here and we come over here to grain and we edit this grain source and import something from the source library, let's find something that's a bit noisy. Uh, paper, let's, let's take this paper texture, that works. So now we have a paper texture with some scratchy um, texture brush below it. Let's take this brush and just kind of tweak it a little bit. So now we took that soft brush and made it into a more gritty paper texture brush. But we want the paper texture to have like some scratches and some imperfections in it. So we can come over to this scratchy texture brush that we have and change these settings a bit. So here you can see our scratchy moves right here that it's combined with the brush. If we adjust our spacing, you can see exactly what's changing here. I say we ramp up the spacing a bit, come down into the brush dynamics and experiment with the bleed. I think this looks good. And I think that we can experiment a little bit with the jitter. Well, my iPad just died there because I always ignore when the thing pops up and says it's going to die. So back to where we were. So let's take our, you know, second brush here. That's that texture brush. And let's go into the dynamics or the Apple Pencil and have it apply only when there is tons of pressure. Perfect. So that's a cool way that we've combined two brushes. So if we press done, what we've essentially done, you can see that how this brush might not be useful for much because it's just a soft brush with a texture one behind it. But when you do a little bit of tweaking with the settings, what we have here is a brush that when lightly pressed, you get a paper texture. And as you press harder and harder and harder, you get a more speckled, dirty, grungy texture. So if we zoom in here, you can see we have our paper texture. And as we press harder, we get a more grungier and grungier texture. That is only one way that you can use these brushes in the combined setting for a cool effect. You've probably seen this kind of brush floating around on the internet. So it's a brush that paints basically an outline. And as you go over it, it actually will erase the inside outlines and continue to create more outlines. It's really cool and a unique brush that could only be achieved using these features. So to create one of these, come over here, create a new brush, just like this. I'm gonna to come to stabilization, give it a little bit of smoothing. Perfect. I'm going to also come to uh, Apple Pencil and I'm going to change the opacity so that it's always 100% opacity. And then after that, I'm going to press done. So now we have a nice smooth brush. Next thing we're going to do is duplicate that brush, select them both and press combine. Now we have the same brush because nothing happened. But 
here is where the magic happens. If you press on your combined brushes over here, you'll see this little option that says combine mode. This will have your brushes combine using different blending modes. So if you're familiar with blending modes, you know that if you paint orange and then paint another lighter orange on top of it with color burn set, you'll get a really burnt kind of amplified color where those colors overlap. So a cool feature here is we can come down here to difference. So when we set it to difference, you can see that now our brush does nothing because it's technically it's inverting the brush onto itself. And since the brush is identical, we're going to get nothing here. But if we take our second brush, we come down here to properties and we adjust the maximum size, we turn it down a little bit. You can see that now, since one of the brushes is bigger and the other one's smaller, and the top brush is uh, deleting everything that's the same about the second brush, we're left with an outline. And this is how the two brushes are different because we changed the maximum size. So if we press done, and now we try out this brush, you can see we have an outline brush. And the cool part about this is you can draw something and as you fill it in, it'll actually fill in all of those lines, just like that. Pretty cool. You could use this for all different sorts of artwork and you can just keep refining your shapes without changing it and you get this really cool effect that can only be achieved with this combined brushes feature. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on combining brushes. And if you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe, uh, press the thumbs up, like the video, um, it helps a ton. And I will see you in the next one.